What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jared and I'm a wedding filmmaker in North Carolina. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about one of the best cameras that I've ever used for filming weddings. And on this channel, we love talking about camera gear. We love talking about tips and tools you need to help grow your wedding business. So if you're into that sort of thing, I hope you consider subscribing. So without further ado, let's get into today's video all about the best camera for filming weddings. So what camera am I talking about? Well, that is going to be the new Canon R6. I honestly am just so impressed with this camera for a lot of different reasons. You've heard about it, you've seen the specs, I'm not gonna bore you on the technicalities of what this camera can do. I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion on why I think it is a great tool for wedding filmmakers and how versatile it is in the fact that it is also a dedicated photography camera. So instead, I really wanted to show you all a real world example of what this camera is capable of. This past weekend, I had the opportunity to use it at a wedding, and honestly, I am just falling in love with this camera. One of my favorite features of the new Canon R6 is the in-body stabilization. And being that this is Canon's first attempt at true in-body stabilization, they pretty much crushed it. I was able to get some amazing results out of this camera without the use of a gimbal or a monopod. I've said it before and I'll say it again, this should be the new standard with any new mirrorless and DSLR camera that put a focus on video creation. When you don't have to worry about a monopod, a gimbal, a slider, getting your frame set, adjusting your pan and tilt knobs, balancing the gimbal, turning it on and off, you get it. It's just so much more freeing to be able to focus on only one thing on the day and you're not limited by all these different tools that you have to worry about. You really aren't restricted creatively in my opinion and which is something that I just love being able to do. It's just one less thing to worry about on the wedding day and so being able to be handheld, it's a no brainer. I feel more focused on what I am capturing because in my head I'm not having to worry about all these other additional tools and the limitations that they have opposed to being able to go handheld and just freely create without having to worry about anything on a wedding day. That was a lot of words. Next, I just want to really touch on the overheating issue. Yes, I realize that this camera is limited in its capacity on record times because it is still oversampling. 5.1K, I get it. But for me and how I utilize this camera, that's not really going to be an issue for me. I never had this camera overheat on the day. However, it did get warm quite a few times, but honestly, that wasn't a big deal and really isn't considering how I plan on utilizing this camera for future weddings. The way I approached this last weekend's wedding was I was on the R6 handheld all day while my second shooter was on the C100 Mark IIs. And honestly, it just, it worked out so well because I was able to focus on what I needed to capture. And when it came time for the ceremony, I just utilized two C100s on the left and right, GH5 in the center, and my R6 was more of the floater cam during the ceremony, which was great for a lot of reasons because I was able to capture reactions uh, from the parents and just overall the guests that were there experiencing everything too in a way where I wasn't usually able to do that because I'm limited on being on the C100, on a tripod, just being locked down. Um, 
just being able to have that camera as a floater and navigating through the ceremony as well as just kind of blending in with the photographers was incredibly beneficial for me. Having a camera that is a roamer cam during the ceremony is beneficial for a lot of reasons. A, I have a camera that doesn't create a lot of attention and that allows me to really blend in with the photographers during that ceremony. B, handheld baby. C, 4K 10-bit, 60 frames a second. 1080 at 120 frames a second, even though I might not use that, but still. And it even has a movie crop mode if you need to just get a little bit more of a punch in during the ceremony, which I think is a great feature to have. Which brings me to my next point, which is going to be its versatility. Not only do you have amazing video quality with 4K up to 60 frames a second, image stabilization, 1080p, 120 frames a second, and the list goes on and on, but you also have a pretty amazing photography camera as well. The photographer we worked with this past weekend rented two of these cameras, and honestly, she was just as thrilled with her results as I was. We were just collaborating throughout the day, and we were just loving these cameras. The R6 is a 20.1 megapixel camera, which may seem low considering some of the other cameras that Canon has released, but when it comes to battery life, dual SD card slots, uh, the ability to shoot 4K video, this system is still a very versatile camera that should be highly considered in the realm of weddings. So let's talk about battery life. I did rent four batteries for the day. I was shooting at 4K 60 the entire day as well. And honestly, I think it was like on my third hour of shooting, I had to take the batteries out and charge those two, but I just popped the others in and I was good for the remainder of the day. And so honestly, that's pretty amazing considering what this camera is outputting. I also shot in C-Log for this wedding as well, which I think is an amazing feature uh, in these mirrorless cameras and being able to utilize the uh, C-Log assist feature. Having that feature is absolutely amazing and was so helpful for me. And not to mention the dynamic range that C-Log gives you as well. So who do I think this camera is for? Well, obviously I think it's for wedding filmmakers and wedding photographers and even real estate shooters. Do we have some limitations? Sure. Just like any camera, you're going to have limitations. But the pros far outweigh the cons, and like every camera review I do, it's based off of my opinion and experience with this camera firsthand. So if you are considering upgrading your Canon EOS R, your 6D Mark II, or just looking for an upgrade in general, I strongly consider just renting this camera out for the weekend. and testing it out and seeing how it fits within your workflow. Like always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found today's video helpful or valuable in some way, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, leave us a comment. Let me know how you are enjoying the Canon R6, if you're interested in it, if you haven't had a chance to try it out, but you are uh, really excited about possibly doing that. I'd love to hear from you. Leave us a comment below and until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories. Peace.